In this video, you will learn about Afghanistan's ballistic missiles, whether Afghanistan has ballistic missiles or not. Afghanistan's history with ballistic missiles and military technology has been tumultuous and largely influenced by external powers due to the country's strategic geopolitical position. Afghanistan itself has not been known to develop its own missile technology. Rather, its experience with missiles is primarily through acquisitions made during various military conflicts and regimes that have controlled the territory throughout recent history. During the Soviet invasion of Afghanistan in the 1980s, Afghanistan came into possession of a range of Soviet military hardware, including ballistic missiles. These missiles were operated by the Afghan military, which was trained by Soviet advisors. The Scud missile, a tactical ballistic missile originally developed by the Soviet Union, was among the most prominent missile systems that Afghanistan had at its disposal during this era. The Scud and its variants have a relatively simple design, which made them appealing to many countries during the Cold War era. They are road mobile, which increases their survivability, and have the capability to carry conventional, chemical, biological, or potentially nuclear warheads. However, the accuracy of Scud missiles is relatively low, and they are often seen as area weapons rather than precision-guided systems. After the withdrawal of the Soviet forces, the stockpiles of Scud missiles in Afghanistan fell under the control of the government, which was then opposed by various factions, including the Mujahideen. Throughout the ensuing civil conflicts and the Taliban's rise to power, the status of these missile systems became more obscure with reports suggesting that some were used in the internal conflicts that continued to plague the country. The situation in Afghanistan changed dramatically following the USL-led invasion in 2001. Any remaining missile systems, including SCUDs, were either destroyed, decommissioned, or fell into disuse. The focus shifted towards counterinsurgency operations, and the use of such ballistic technology was not suitable or practical for the types of conflicts that ensued. Afghanistan has since lacked the infrastructure, stable governance, and technical expertise required to develop an indigenous missile program. The country has been primarily reliant on international aid and military support, with the United States and other NATO countries providing the bulk of military assistance. This assistance did not include the transfer of ballistic missile technology, but rather focused on light and heavy weapons suitable for counterinsurgency, policing, and defensive operations. The Taliban's return to power in 2021 following the withdrawal of U.S. troops marked another significant shift. The future of Afghanistan's missile capabilities under the Taliban remains uncertain. There have been no indications that the group has sought to acquire or develop ballistic missile technology, as their military focus has largely been on small arms and light weaponry suitable for guerrilla warfare. From a geopolitical perspective, Afghanistan's location in Central Asia means that the presence of any advanced missile technology within its borders is a matter of concern for neighboring countries and regional powers. Neighboring states such as Iran and Pakistan possess their own missile capabilities and would likely view any development of missile technology in Afghanistan as a potential threat to regional stability. The discussion of missiles in Afghanistan is also closely related to broader security issues, including arms trafficking and the proliferation of small arms. The porous borders and ongoing conflict in the region have made Afghanistan a hub for illicit arms trade, raising concerns that missile technology could fall into the hands of non-state actors or terrorist groups. International efforts to prevent the proliferation of missile technology in unstable regions include the Missile Technology Control Regime, MTCR, an informal political understanding among states that seek to limit the proliferation of missiles and missile technology. Afghanistan's capacity to adhere to such regimes is severely limited by its lack of central governance and ongoing internal conflict. The potential for Afghanistan to acquire missile technology in the future depends on several factors, including the nature of the regime in power, its relationship with foreign nations that might supply such technology, and the overall security situation in the country. As of now, however, Afghanistan's military capabilities remain limited, 
and its involvement with missile technology is a historical footnote rather than a current reality. Given these circumstances, Afghanistan's connection to missile technology is not an immediate issue of concern in terms of development or deployment. The country's ongoing challenges are centered more on achieving peace, stability, and the reconstruction of its infrastructure and society. The focus for the international community remains on humanitarian assistance, counter-terrorism, and preventing Afghanistan from becoming a base for destabilizing activities in the region. The current security landscape in Afghanistan does not suggest an environment conducive to the development or significant enhancement of missile capabilities. The Taliban, despite their control of the country, face a plethora of challenges that likely relegate the acquisition of missile technology to a lower priority compared to other more pressing issues such as governance, economic stability, and international recognition. Should the situation in Afghanistan stabilize and the government seek to re-establish its military capabilities, the development or acquisition of missile technology could potentially become a strategic goal. However, such an endeavor would require substantial investment, a long-term commitment to technical training and education, and international partnerships that are currently not in place. Moreover, the global community, particularly countries with advanced missile technologies, are cautious about the proliferation of such capabilities. There is a concerted effort to ensure that missile technology, especially that which can carry weapons of mass destruction, does not fall into the hands of actors who may use it for destabilizing activities or in contravention of international law. This stance is particularly strong in regions like Central Asia, where the potential for security issues to cross borders is high. Afghanistan's history with missiles is largely a vestige of past conflicts. While the country has seen the deployment and use of ballistic missile technology within its borders, it has not been an active participant in the development or significant use of such technology in recent years. The future of missile technology in Afghanistan will largely be determined by the country's ability to stabilize and the international community's efforts to support peace and security in the region. Thank you for watching.